hello everyone hope if you are doing good so let's have a today's session on creating mapping queries and packages along with that we will also create the lookups and the relationship in the staging and the bio tables so in order to do in order to start with the mapping you have to log into the mdm informatica mdm hub with your user credential then acquire a right log then go to the mapping section so you will find the mapping section here right click on the mapping module and give the mapping name here we will give the mapping the mapping for the source system what is for example this is for the our CRM and the name of the mapping like the client here to you can give the description like mapping for CRM source system and client table so this will be for the source system CRM now this next we have to choose the landing table as it's a client we have to choose as a client then the staging table again staging table that is client if you want to make secure you can check or uh, you can keep this as a enable if you want to make private just a uh, check and it's okay button so now this will create a definition for the mapping then there are four various four section in the mapping general then the diagram then the query parameters and the test so if you see the diagram so there are columns which are already found in the landing and the staging table so out of this the pq source column is very important and which has to be populated as a with a unique value if any duplicate values comes for this column then it will be get rejected and the reject table will be populated query parameter so if you want to get record for example you are getting record from the different system you can use this query parameter and add here the condition mentioning that all the records should come like the like the, like the source system we can define the column and source system equal to CRM we can define uh, the condition here the test if you if you want to test the your mapping you can test in this section so let's do the mapping so you can add function you can add constant you can add condition you can clear all mapping or you can add the auto mapping so what are the columns are present uh, in this client table so those get add to map as per our condition so last updated is there then the first name last name if you want to populate this PQ source with a client ID you can just drag and drop and just save it okay. so if you want to make a combination of two columns like the first name and last name as a pq source you can create and you can for that you can use a cleans function let's create one more mapping for the address mapping for the crm system and it is address we will provide the description as mapping for CRM system and address table. So as you understand, we have to provide the landing address table and staging address table. We will disable for now. We will go to the diagram section and we'll do the auto mapping. The PK source column is a it should be unique so we have to create a unique combination in order to create you can add function using this right click or you can go to the right side right hand side of the screen in the function just select it's a string and we will use the concatenation function so what we'll do we will add the address line one address line two and the state so this will create a unique combination if the same record comes then it is duplicate so it will be get rejected as it is duplicate per pk source and rejectable will be populated so that's it it's a pretty straightforward 
if you have any other conditions or any cleansing so you can use the cleanse functions here you can write your own clean function and use here once you create mapping what we'll do we will go to the base object in the schema section and we will add the relationships and the lookups so address table what is that we have the one staging table because we are the only one source system go to the relationship section go to the diagram no uh, so this is this will show the diagram how each table is related with the other tables in the properties there is plus sign click on the plus sign so address client id it's related to the client id from the bo okay but we don't have the client id in the bo so how can you how can you make this enable so now to make this enable actually we should have the client id in the bo or we can use the row id object of the client and we can relate each other but for now what we'll do we will add one more column in the bo to make it a little simpler so what we are doing we are preserving the primary column from the source client id so before that we have to verify what is the client id length in the address table so if you see the client id is its integer so so in the client table we have to change from this varchar to the integer but we can't change so in order to change as i mentioned in the earlier tutorial you have to delete this and you have to add it again and make sure your data type should match otherwise it will it will not allow you to do the mapping and it is in the client table so it should not be nullable and we are going to save it so once we populate in the bo we have to same populate in the staging as well so you can see you have to just enable this and save it so that it is available in the mapping once it is available go to the client mapping so this is the third time you have to do the update now the client table, client id is enabled here so you just try drag and the update just save now you are done with the mapping the important section we are going to go will go back and do the our relationships so now if you go to the relationship i can go to the plus sign now you will be able to see Oh, again we are not able to say what's the reason the reason behind is that if you are making any your business column to be available for the relationship you have to make it as a unit so go to the client and otherwise it will not allow so we have to make it unique and save it let's see whether it is available or not now so what we did we went to bo client table selected the columns from the bo and we make the client id as a unique in the relationship we will see whether that column is available or not wow it's available now let's do the relationship select the client client id from the bo address table and the client id from the client it should be available here so and the other details you can see in the section below relationships detail section once it is done we have to go to the staging table and provide the lookups so we have the client id select that column edit it and which column you are going to do for the lookup you have to view that column here so now the lookup table is view client and the lookup column is client id so that's it we are added the relationship we added the lookup we will say on the same line you have to do the other things also like here we have added the state 
instead of state you can create a lookup or reference table for the state and you can add the lookup for the state do we need to add the relationships in the client no because once you created any relationship any child table that is populated in the as a reference as a table in the reference by section like if you see the bo address client id is mapped to the bo client address if you want to add it is not possible to add any relationship client because client is a parent and we can't relate the client with means parent with the child we can relate the child with the parent not with the reverse case so this is done any reference any lookup for our clients you can go ahead there is no lookups because client data is populated within the client table so that's it we are done with the lookups and the relationship so now the next thing we will create the queries so the queries are nothing but this uh, like the select question uh, select sqls or the the SQLs which will be used for the insert and the update operation. So in order to do that, we have to first add the query group. So in here, we will create two types of query groups. First is query group for display. So this query group, and we will create one more query group that is for the update or insert so we will call it the put put query group so we are done with these two query groups now now in the display query group we will add the queries go to right click on the display query group select a new query there is one dialog was box will off open with the we have to follow the steps to create a query so it is two steps process the first step will be you have to provide the query name so here what is the query name so we are going to create a query for the address and the queries for client table so what we'll do query q r y we will create query for address here the query group you have to select it is display and the column uh, you can for the display queries you can use any of the table like the repos table or bo tables or the landing table make sure if you are able to see all those tables here so have you noticed you are not able to see any of the landing table so that means you can query query on staging table like here or any support your staging table like the reject table raw table or you can create a repose table as a query or the bo's bo's like a bo address bo client so for now we will carry on the bo then the ne click the next select what are the columns you are going to see if you want to see the system columns you can select if you want to select any particular columns you can have that privilege and do the finish so this will create a query for us so on the same line we will create a query for the client as well just click next q r y and the client you have to select client okay just finish so we have created two queries so you will not able to see the data yet because we are not populated these tables now the next we will create the put queries for the put queries what we'll do you can go ahead and create the query on the same line but at this time we will select only the the table which are only views so if you select any other table we can't able to update or insert record in other table like the repos table so it says the query with the space pen name is already exact so again even we have selected the same different query group it is saying the query is already present 
so what we'll do we will add extension called as a put here what we'll do we choose we will choose only the important columns where we can do the update operation like the deleted by or the any other indicators we will not select because this is just kind of the put queries if you want to insert updated by this automatically will insert and these are the support business columns so we have the put queries and the again on the same line we'll also create other query now the thing is that you can use the same queries for the both the display and the put but here as our demo purpose we are creating two different queries if you have any business need where you are just um, looking for creation of the queries only you can do that or you can divide the queries into put and the display package uh, display query that's it so we are done with the queries as well the next thing is package so you know to, there are two types of package one is display package other is the put package display package is used for the displaying the record while the put package is used for the inserting and the updating the record so in order to create the package just rightly new package it's again the two step process the first step you have to define the package name this address or we can say it's a display with the 360 display 360 client so it will show all the details of a client like address or any if you are using any other tables like uh, telephone or electronic address then you can display this 360 view it is not bootable because we are going to use the different different tables in this so it's uh, we are not by default it's a disable so that is correct it is display package so queries we are going to use display so what it is means we have to create a query which will show the 360 so what we'll do we'll select this and create we will need new query so again it's a display 360 client primary column we have to select client go to the next it is this place so we can use as many columns as we want finish and just to the finish so if you remember we have just selected one table here okay that is that is client so how to make it should have some other columns also for like the address so in order to do that just go to the client 360 client query so you will see the screen add button and select the address so it will automatically select the relationship column and it will do the relationship if you go to the select queries you are not able to see any of the address column so in order to add that just click on add expand the address and select the address columns and you have done just save it and you can see in the package section now you can see of okay, this is the pack display 360 client package and you can see the address columns i will rename this little okay this is this frequent that is correct so we are done i think 